10 concert ukuleles. Specifically, 10 concert ukuleles that we've not featured on the Southern Ukulele Store YouTube channel before. Maybe instruments that have been around a while but don't get as much love as counterparts in their series. Um, there are some instruments here that are brand new. Um, we're going to feature two of the Breed Love ukuleles, which were released just in March 2019. We've got a couple of brand new Ohana models from the 2019 NAMM show. Uh, we've got the Romero Creations um, Concert STC. And yeah, a wide variety of different concert ukuleles, starting at £100, ending at about £1,000. Uh, yeah, should be an interesting video and maybe will make you look at something that you've not looked at before. I'm excited, let's begin. Okay, so the first ukulele that we're gonna look at today is the Cordoba slash Cordoba COR15CM. So this ukulele has not done anything particularly remarkable for its price point. This ukulele is about £100 and there's plenty of competition for laminate mahogany ukuleles around that price. But this one really impressed me. For a start, the finish is a bit better than say a Carla KAC or Brunswick BU4C. Uh, the fingerboard and bridge feel cleaner, like instruments under £100 tend to be very roughly finished. But this one has a bound fingerboard which really tidies things up with the side dots, which is something a lot of people ask us about on a beginner's uke that aren't there on all models. This has cream binding all the way around, a nice uh, abalone um, rosette, and really good open back tuners. Pretty standard 35 mil nut on this one, but it's another option for a beginner that I have no hesitation in recommending. Just a really good beginner's priced ukulele and one that you could grow into rather than one that you would grow out of as, as soon as you decided that the ukulele was for you. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one a play and see what you guys think. Okay, the next ukulele is one of my favourite ukuleles to recommend to people. This is a Snail UKC 498. So this gorgeous ukulele is laminate ebony on the top, back and sides. And mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard and bridge. And I just love this right binding. Uh, hopefully I remember to do a close-up shot for you all. But just really nice binding on this. It's, it's just a really... It's a really clean, really re refined ukulele for about £130 2019 UK street price. This ukulele is a great companion to the Snail SUCM1, which many of you know we, we champion as being pretty much the best ukulele you can get under £200. This ukulele definitely is comparable to that. The satin finish on this model gives it a slightly darker, slightly kind of more mid-heavy sound, which might suit a strummer, um, it might not have quite the brittle attack if you're a finger picker, but this is a really good ukulele as well for a beginner with a slightly higher budget or an intermediate player or somebody that wants an instrument that will not be affected by humidity or temperature. You could take this one away in your, your caravan or in your suitcase or whatever it is you do on your holidays and you haven't necessarily got to worry about the elements affecting this instrument. Um, Snail have the closed back tuners, uh, the 35 mil nut, don't be fooled, some people online have reviewed an old snail that had a slightly wider nut. The nut width on all snail concerts is 35mm. Um, but yeah, just another great ukulele. And this one also comes with a little bag, which is a nice bonus as well. Just one I'm really, always really keen to have in stock and show off to customers, and one that more often than not seems to tick the boxes. So let's give it a play and see what you think. Thank you. 
and the third ukulele we're going to look at today is the ever popular Cordoba slash Cordoba COR 24C. Now this ukulele is very very reminiscent of the popular Carla ACP CTG. Now this ukulele gets asked for, we get asked for this every day. Really popular ukulele, very well reviewed. This instrument is very similar but with a few subtle changes that might make it more appropriate or more suitable for particular types of players. So it has the solid cedar top, but the back and sides on this ukulele are spalted maple, and the laminate spalted maple in the same way that the Carla has laminate acacia. It has paduk binding, like the Carla, which really stylish, even the rosettes, the red paduk, and binding up the fretboard with the side dots. But this instrument doesn't have the slotted headstock, which makes it a bit lighter than the Carla, which some people prefer. It has more traditional uh, open back tuners and a slightly wider nut width. The Cordoba has a 36 mil nut width rather than the 35 mil nut width of the Carla. And uh, yeah, the instrument has a similar sound to the Carla, but with a satin finish instead of gloss, you get a slightly deeper tone, which I think is what brings the best out in cedar. Now this ukulele has lots of sustain, really rings out, but you have a very balanced tone that can offer a slightly bass heavier sound if you want it, which is better, I think, for strumming. I've always preferred this to the Carla uh, KAACP CTG, but um, we certainly get asked about it a lot less, and I thought it was worth featuring this ukulele, because if you're out there looking for a new ukulele, you want all the options you can get. Certainly, if you're watching a research video on ukuleles, then I've done my job here showing you this. So I'm gonna give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, the next cool ukulele you're going to feature today is a six string. Not many six string concerts exist, and I can't think of another on the planet that exists in this formation. So this is Ohana's brand new CK70 A6. So the CK870 A6, as far as I can tell, because it really is a brand new model, I can't find any spec on Ohana's own website about it yet, has a solid spruce top, with what I believe to be laminate mahogany back and sides, but I will place an edit here or in the description if I learn differently. This has open coal on the fingerboard and bridge and the six string formation on this is completely unique because rather than feature the A and the C string as um, doubled up strings to create almost like an Eastern music kind of sound, what you have is a high G, low G, high C, middle C, E, A. So you're getting all of the octaves that are appropriate for normal ukulele tuning but not quite such a jangly sound for the, the treble side. So I'll give it a play in a minute and you'll hear what I mean. But yeah, it's a, it's a unique concept and one that I think has a lot of legs. Ohana have never been afraid to create things that were different to the norm and popularise them. They've taken plenty of ideas from you know, 100 years ago and reimagined them in their own way. Uh, I'm excited to try this. I've not even played this myself yet, so I, I can't confirm whether it's fantastic or not, but I, I'm hoping that when you hear it, you'll grow to like it, because it's very rare that Ohana bring out something new that we don't like here at Southern Nuke Store. Um, and if we don't, you'll notice that we, we tend just to not stock it ever again. So I'm excited to give this a play. The CK70 A6, brand new ukulele launched at NAMM. Give it a play.
Okay then, so this very, very cool thing is Ortega's new Archtop model. Uh, the code, I believe, is R-U-S-L-H-S-B. So this is the Honey Sunburst Concert Archtop Ukulele. And it might look familiar because Carla have made a tenor Archtop that's been popular forever. Um, this ukulele does things a little bit differently to the tenor Archtop. For a start, it has a pickup system with a built-in tuner, which is a bonus. It also has a metal tailpiece with a fixed bridge that looks like um, like it's a floating bridge with an actual arched top. And the join of the neck is more like a traditional arched top as well. So this ukulele does feel completely different to everything else we're gonna play today. Ortega have done very, very well in recent years to kind of specialize in concerts. They reimagined their whole approach to ukuleles a few years back and as a result the catalogue of Ortega ukuleles at a concert size is about 90% of the available ukuleles that they sell and we've really uh, been blown away just consistently every time we have a delivery by Ortega something new comes in that we think is fantastic and uh, this ukulele hasn't really been featured much uh, of anywhere that I can see online yet but it should be because it's great and it's not too expensive either. So take a look at the, uh, the link to this ukulele in the description to see the price and then compare you know, other instruments between two and 300 uh, to this and you're realizing what you're getting you know, value for money wise. There's a lot of ukulele here. Um, this has a walnut fingerboard and bridge. Um, there's not much else really to tell. It's a 35 mil nut width with um, closed back gold tuners. Uh, it also comes in a, a padded gig bag as well, which is just another great touch that not all companies are doing with their ukes, but Ortega are excelling at. Um, I'm going to give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, the next ukulele today is one that a lot of people came away from the NAMM show excited about. And I have to confess, I didn't see it at the NAMM show and I felt very embarrassed when they came back. So I put them on order anyway and I've been mightily impressed too. So this next model by Breedlove is part of their Luau series. The Luau series of ukuleles is um, four instruments. You have a standard acoustic with a solid myrtle top. You have a um, shaded myrtle electro you have a solid spruce top uh, with a myrtle back and sides electro and you have this instrument here which is a solid myrtle top with the ghost burst finish or the ghost finish which is a kind of white and black sunburst with laminate myrtle back and sides so uh, this uke is uh, kind of a new thing for breed love they've made ukes in the past at the high end but this is you know one of their first instruments that's been kind of bought out at the under £500 price point. In fact, this is well, un well under £500. It's around the kind of 350 mark new. This particular one arrived B-stock actually. So if you do see a little chip in the ukulele, then please note this instrument is on our website uh, as at a B-stock price. Uh, it has a mahogany neck with the ebony fingerboard and bridge and a 36 mil nut. The pickup is good as well. It's got a built-in tuner, which a lot of people like, but it's got just one tone control, but it's actually a very functional tone control. Uh, when we plug this in to test it coming in, it was very easy to make this sound like a gigable uh, professional instrument. Uh, so I'd have no hesitation to recommending this to somebody that's out there playing on stage a lot. And this also has some open back tuners that are really robust, like really high spec tuners, higher than most ukulele tuners. I've not actually seen these anywhere. I imagine Breedlove get these made uh, specifically for them. Uh, this also has a rope binding as well, which can also get a bit lost if you uh, focus on the ghost finish for too long. But no, I really like this ukulele. This was my second favourite on the Breed Love delivery. I'm going to play this one for you first and see what you guys think.
Okay, and now time for my personal favourite of Breed Love's new Luau series. This is the, it's got a great code, it's the Luau C-U-E S-M-N-S. I wish people would give things cool names, it'd be so much easier to remember. Uh, this has a solid spruce top, looks like uh, an Adirondack spruce top with laminate myrtle back and sides. The same mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard and bridge and a slight shading to the top. It's not a natural looking spruce top. So this is a gloss finish with a slight kind of brown shading around the outside to make it look, I think a bit vintage really. It looks like an old instrument now. Uh, has the same really cool tuners and 36 mil nut that the previous model we've just featured has. But just a really good gigable instrument that looks unique. I think that Breedlove made a point of looking at what else is out there and finding something that filled a gap and yeah for about 300 pound uk 2019 street price this is a very very good ukulele to get you up and running um i'm going to give this one a play i found the spruce top uh difference between the spruce top and the myrtle the spruce top has more kind of attack so when you strum a note it kind of instantly rings out a little bit further the myrtle by comparison is a little bit more mellow um, plugged in you wouldn't necessarily hear a difference because you would EQ to suit your needs but I found acoustically I just think that the spruce top has the edge on the myrtle but I'm going to give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, and this next instrument is one of Ohana's new models. This is the PKC-70G. Now, the um, CK and TK-70Gs have always been very popular. That's the standard concert and tenor that Ohana do. But pineapple ukuleles are really becoming a thing. In the last year or so, it's felt like a lot of manufacturers that take instruments seriously have introduced pineapples. Uh, we've talked about it in other videos on this channel, but uh, Canalea's Platinum this year is a pineapple. Pono recently introduced a wider range of pineapple ukes and Ohana have followed suit. So the PKC-70G is very much like a deluxe instrument by Ohana at this price point. So it has the abalone going around the edge, it has an abalone rosette, and a really nice detail is the abalone around the headstock. This has a solid spruce top with solid mahogany back and sides. Mahogany neck with the open back gear tuners, really reliable Ohana tuners. Uh, yeah, uh, oven coal fingerboard and bridge, which feels like a, an update, uh, an upgrade from walnut, which we have seen on other instruments. It's just a really plush feeling instrument. Yeah, we always like to have at least one Ohana pineapple in stock, and this is the kind of top end of their range. But um, yeah, really responsive ukulele with a really unique sound. So we're going to give it a play and see what you guys think. Okay, and our penultimate ukulele of the day today, hopefully needs very little introduction. This is a Romero STC Koa concert. So about two, three years ago, we came back from the NAMM show with the Romero Creations Tiny Tenor and the XS Soprano, and they've been very popular. But last year at the NAMM show, uh, Romero Creations introduced a concert size, and we did have one delivery of the mangoes later on in the year last year that were very popular but the Koa instrument was always the most popular tenor size, and I thought it would be worth showcasing the concert size here today. So this is solid Koa on the top, back and sides. Completely unique shape 
designed to fit in the spaces that a concert ukulele normally wouldn't reach. So this instrument should be about two centimeters longer than a normal soprano. Let's have a look. Not far, is it? It's about three or four centimeters. But this will fit in a suitcase that a concert might not fit in. It will be a compact option, but it's very much a deluxe ukulele with its own voicing. Uh, it's hard for me to describe the voicing. It's taken me a few takes to get to where I am with this, but I'm just gonna play it. And hopefully compared to the other instruments you hear today, you'll hear that it's unique and maybe it's the sound that you're looking for. The Romero STC. The Romero has a low G. Please don't get upset. Okay, and the final ukulele today that we're going to feature is one of my personal favourites of all time. This is a Canalea K1 CE in natural. So, gloss Canaleas get a lot of love. I would say, on average, we order four gloss for every one natural finished instrument that we order from Canalea. But the natural finish offers something that the gloss doesn't. The sound is rootsier, it's deeper, it's more of a folk player's instrument. The gloss, I think, has an inherent Hawaiian quality, which is what people, you know, if you think of a Hawaiian-made ukulele, then generally you want that inherent Hawaiian quality, I know, but the, the satin and natural finishes, they give you a slightly bassier, slightly more whimsical sound. It's not quite so floaty and bubbly. It's a bit darker than that. This has an ebony fingerboard and bridge with a solid coat top, back and sides. This has the sand inlays going up the neck as well and sand side dots there as well. And my favorite kind of tuners ever. This is the two on the plate, mandolin style tuners on the back. The Cadillac concerts also have a 38 mil nut. So if you've got sausage fingers like me, you will prefer something like this. I'm gonna give it a play. I featured these ukuleles before. This is the only one on the video that I think I featured more than once before. And just a great uke. Uh, I really think that the natural Canalea should get a little bit more love than they do. So hopefully somebody will fall in love with this today and give it a home. Okay, so there's 10 ukuleles played and compared for all of you. What did you think? Did you have a favorite today? Was there one you didn't like? Do you now know what you're looking for in a ukulele, whereas maybe before you hadn't thought about it? The reason I made this video was because I thought, if I wasn't able to visit the store, what would I want to see from the shop on their YouTube channel? What would I be researching? What would I be looking up? And I, by doing a, a video where we kind of take random things at different prices and pit them against each other, my hope is that it, for at least some of you out there, it narrows down the field of choice so that you can kind of focus more on what you are looking for. Before today, maybe you were looking for a mahogany ukulele, but now you've heard the Cordoba COR24C, maybe you really like the cedar top, and that's what you should be looking at. Anyway, if you have any questions off the back of the video, leave a comment. You can email me at the shop at alex at ukulele.co.uk. You can call us in store, chat to one of the team on 
01202 430820. I'd really appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel. Um, if there's something that we haven't featured before, please feel free to email me and request it because I can possibly work it into another video in the future. But in the meantime, I'm Alex. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.